Yo, what are the guys? This is Mooko coming at you live here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get Dreamcast emulator on your Android smartphone. Um, this is the second version of it. The first version, the BIOS is actually dead, and I have a better website to download the ROMs from other than CoolROM.com. So I'm going to show you a quick example. I'm going to be doing Sonic Adventure 2 The Trial. Here it is. You'll see why it's the trial in just a moment, and not the full game. I was gonna do, like I did in my last video, a quick gameplay of it. Here it is. Works perfectly. It is in Japanese. Find the goal ring. Alright. So it is working 100%. Um, I am at a pretty good 60 FPS. Audio works perfectly. And yeah. Um... Audio's working, and 60 FPS working pretty good. Now it depends on what kind of phone you're using, of course. That depends on your frame, on your phone, what kind of frame rate you'll be getting. I'm using more of a higher end phone, so I am running at 60 FPS pretty good. But yeah, this, this, I'm going to do a quick gameplay. Again, I'll leave a little link on the description below to skip right to the tutorial. But I just want to show you guys that it is fully working. Here you go. No! I actually jumped, Sonic, you idiot. Oh my god. Here you go. Thank you. Yahoo! Trying to copy Mario, huh? So, as you can see, it is working. This is for Android only. I don't know how to do it on iOS. Camera, please don't die on me. There you go, running down. Echo, lights off. Echo, lights off. Maybe that would help. A little bit of audio drama there, but that's okay. And there you yes. go. Okay, so now I am going to get to the tutorial on how to get the emulator on your phone. Yo, the guys, this is Mokul here, and I'm going to be showing you how to get the Reacast emulator on your phone. So first, you want to go into the Play Store, then you want to download Reacast. So you can see here, you want to download this app called Reacast Emulator, which is in 
Dreamcast emulator, obviously. And here you go. It's installing, so while that installs, you want to go into Chrome. And please excuse the notch if it's on the screen. I have a phone with a freaking notch, which looks ugly AF. Yeah. And then what you want to do is type in Dreamcast BIOS MU Paradise. And then it should be Sega Dreamcast Chinkis Recommended BIOS Set. You want to click on that. And then you want to click on Sega Dreamcast Chinkis Recommended BIOS Set. Click on that, it'll start downloading. Then what you want to do is go into the Play Store and then download another app called ES File Explorer right here you want to install that and then once you open it you'll go through a tutorial and everything and you should end up on this screen right here if you do not end up on the screen you want to go into the top left hit the three lines right here hit on home and then what you want to do is hit on internal storage then after you do that you want to hit on download then you want to hold down this uh, zip that just has a bunch of numbers on it and then you want to hit more and then you want to hit extract two and then hit okay here you go and here is the BIOS set. You want to go back, back, and then you want to hit the three lines up here, new folder, and then type in whatever you want. I'm going to, I'm going to name it One Dream, just because I have a bunch of folders here, and so it's easy to find. It's right in the beginning. Then what you want to do is hit on download. Then you want to hit on the bunch of numbers. You want to hit the first file right here. You want to hold it down, and then you want to hit rename. And it says DC underscore BIOS dot bin. What you want to name it to is DC underscore boot dot bin. When you hold that down, hit cut the bottom, back, back, back. Then you want to go to one dream, hit paste. You want to go back once, go back to download, go back to that file folder. And then you want to go to the last file folder, folder file, whatever, <laughs> folder. And then you want to my fault go back you want to click on it and then you want to hold down it should say dc underscore flash drop then you want to hit cut back 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 one dream and then paste then what you want to do is you want to click on your rea cast and then you want to hit the three lines up here hit settings locate browse and hit dc underscore boot up in and there you go you've successfully set up the bios now what you want to do is go back to chrome and then you want to type in vimm.net, vim.net, which is another good um, ROM site. It is honestly next to MU Paradise for me. It's about just as good. But I will say that the, the you want to hit, click on the vault, and then you want to hit Dreamcast. Then you want to hit whatever game you want. I'm going to do Sonic Adventure. Then you want to hit download. I decided to do Sonic Adventure 2 because it is a smaller file than Sonic Adventure. Um, so it went quicker. So what you want to do is hold down your game file. You want to hit more. Then you want to hit extract 2. Hit OK. And it'll extract. You give that a minute to extract. Shouldn't take that long depending on what kind of phone you're using. Thank you. Then you want to open the folder that I just made. Then you want to hit Sonic Adventure. And then you want to hold down and click on all of these. Hit cut, back, 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 and then you want to click on one dream and then paste. Then you want to want to do is you want to go to Reacast. Then you want to go to browser. Well, I, it should automatically find it for you, but if it does, you want to go there. Settings. I didn't hit settings. Settings. Browse. And I, yeah, I guess this actually automatically find it for you. So I am going to say this really quickly. When you click on the game, it's not going to show you the screen automatically if you hear the game you hear the dreamcast you know the don't do not you want to hit back and then the screen will show up then you want to you know obviously play it and it'll work it'll go through and work perfectly um, uh, this is not the full game vim.net does not yet actually have the full sonic adventure 2 game yet but it does have full sonic adventure dx on it that is the full game the Sonic Adventure 2 they do not have the full game just yet Vim does update their games a lot in their site so I'm sure one of these days they will have the full game out but right now they do not have it out just yet you guys can't hear any volume because I'm actually screen recording and screen recording software will not record the audio sadly of the game but yeah um it works 
100%. Um, pretty cool. I, this is definitely an update from my last video. My last video, the bio sets were all garbage, and the ROM from CoolROM.com was all garbage and everything. But I did. I've actually been using Vim.net for a while now. Before I found out the workaround script with MB Paradise, this was the site that I was using, and it worked out actually pretty good. The bandwidth is kind of sucky though. Um, this is a newer site. The site's been out since 2015. Um, so yeah, uh, it's not, the bandwidth isn't perfect, it's not fast like Emu Paradise, but they're not, they have no ad, their ROMs are virus free, 100%, and they work. As you can see here, I am playing again. Um, it works 100%, it actually, I wouldn't say it's better than Emu Paradise, but it definitely is up there with Emu Paradise. It's not, like I said, they have no viruses, and even with the Emu Paradise, they have ads but they're non malicious so if you click on one it legitimately brings you to that site that it's saying that it'll bring you to it's like if it gives you an ad for car insurance it'll actually bring you to a car insurance website it's not like other websites where you click on the ad and it brings you some sketchy website that you can click on anything and download the freaking virus on your computer no um, because Amy Paradise legitimately uses ads to make money to be able to afford bandwidth which is very expensive so yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching, if you like this video make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and if you guys want any other tutorials how to get the N64 emulator, as you can see I have on my phone right here, I do have the N64, again, got all these games from actually Emmy Paradise using the workaround script, um, but like these work 100% too, I run at a perfect 30 FPS. Which is what the Dreamcast, I mean Dreamcast, the N64 actually ran in was 30 FPS and you run 100% audio works and everything. So just comment below if you want to make a tutorial on how to get an N64 emulator. It's pretty easy actually, it's easier than Emu Paradise and you don't need the BIOS. All you need are the ROMs. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and as I always say, stay awesome.